whether rapping or I'm rapping to rap or might reach back and read after wrapping up the draw. Javanchi feeling like a gym. Yo boys, what's good? Welcome back to another video. By the title of this video, you've actually clicked on it to see how to actually break the FIFA coin system, and I will show you. All you need is potentially five to ten thousand coins to actually start off SBCs and patience as you can't transfer too much coins within a certain time area. However, you've probably heard of this tactic before where you actually load up another account as I'm doing right now and obviously you go through all, all the club tutorials and then you start up the League and Nation SBCs. And you may be saying to yourself, that's banned from EA's rules while you're doing that, that's just game breaking and it's going to get me banned. However, I am going to be telling you how to potentially prevent a market ban within this game. But before any of that, I'm actually going to be telling you how you can actually build up the club and work your way towards hybrid leagues or hybrid nations without actually transferring not that many coins. Obviously, you do get all the starter packs when you actually load up the club, if you played it last year as well especially. So if you have any accounts which you used for SBCs last year, you can actually load them up, get all the gold players you need, even some silvers, and then put them towards an SBC. I do think the all player ones are actually tradable as well, so if you do pack anyone in like 3 to 4k or even better above that, then again you can go on to sell them and then put that money towards an SBC. As I said, you don't even need to transfer many coins over, you probably don't need to transfer any at all to be honest, you could probably complete some of the basic SBCs, do the season objectives, you know, build all your coins up, sell each and every individual player, and then if if it is the you know the old two to three k transfer for like a position change or something, then there's no worries whatsoever really. So you're literally guaranteed profit, even if you do transfer the ten k, you're still gonna get minimum thirty thousand coins in this. Trust me. In other words, you're just completing the SPCs that you did in your main account onto another account. Also, when like the league SPCs, if they do come out, uh, when you get like really good live SPCs, you can actually go ahead and complete them as well, multiple accounts. So, you can make so much money just from doing this method. Also, at this stage of the year, when you've got players like Hamsick, for example, who've got price ranges of 40k, you've got mad players with mad price ranges who are like so cheap in price, and transferring coins again is because so many people are doing it, EA aren't really gonna bother to pick up on it. So this stage of the game is probably the best stage considering player values are so much higher, transferring coins is a lot safer and easier as well. In the past with this method, in FIFA 18 I think I transferred about 2 mil coins in the whole year. I got a mad fuck off team and um, I didn't really get caught, I didn't, I mean I got a warning, I got like my 10k took off me when I f transferred the coins and spent them but apart from that, uh, in FIFA 19 I think I got banned right at the start of the year so they've started to pick up on it. But I was very cautious when I was doing it. It's a great tactic for if like your team has been like discarded or something. I'm not too sure. I can't think of a very good bad like a good example. Or say like the weekend leagues like tomorrow, you've got nowhere near the coins that you want to spend on your team. And like if you get that team, you're gonna get dick. So you know if you're in like a financial state on, on a FIFA game, um, you just go ahead and do SBCs on other accounts, and you'll guarantee profit. I mean, you could sit there for about an hour trying to win a player on min bid and win about 50,000 coins, or you could just make like 50k as a minimum price, spending about an hour and a half on an account opening bear packs. Anyway, I've licked this method's ass a lot now, so um, as you can see there, you can complete the season objectives, build up the packs you get, look, you get a 7.5k pack and a free common goal player pack, you can actually put them towards the It Takes 8, for example, where you only need a certain amount of rares, you can put them non-rares into that SPC and save you like a few K. Now moving on to when you're actually transferring the coins, you actually want to list up a gold player. I personally, you can use bronze players, you can use kits, it's just so risky. You can even use like balls for example, um, but no, just go for a gold player, it's much safer. And you actually do want to list up the player for a very odd number for a buy now, so don't put it 10k. Yeah, you can instantly pick up on that and just ban you straight away. You want to get on like the you know 9.6, 9.7 mark, and also put the starting price very different from the uh, buy now price. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I first completed the National Pride, I think it's called, the last one on Hybrid Nations where you get the 50k pack. Anyway, I bought all the players I can see in the time lapse here. They weren't too much, I think. I think the whole SBC overall was about 14.5k. So obviously, 
when I transferred that tanker, I had to do a few season objectives, get the few 7.5k packs, um, and mainly complete the basic SPCs as well to also get the few thousand coins needed for position changes, etc. At this stage of the game, there isn't too many solutions, like, you know, off the top of your head, so I actually went across on Footbin and used their top SPC. I think you needed about four position changes, which was obviously the wing backs and the wingers. Overall, you're paying 15k for a Bundesliga team to then trade them for a 50k pack. So, it's, it's so worth the value, it really is. Also, the pack value gets better when you're getting a 55k pack once completing all the SPCs in one group. So, yeah, that's another reason. So, guys, I've actually copied one off Footbin. It did cost me a few thousand coins to buy all the position changes. Uh, the counter sent the mid was, I think it was about 2,000 coins. I tried sniping that as well. So, uh, so we've got this team, around 15k, as long as I make the money back, obviously, there's no, there's no worries whatsoever, really. Um, yeah, so I'll get right into the pack, 12 res, 12 gold, <laughs> if we get something big, that would be good, like, even if it's just a cheap inform, that's your money back. That's a walkout, that's a walkout, that's a walkout! German, send mid, Cruz, ugh. I don't even care. So money back. As I said, I've got my money back there, and I've got loads of other players. Let's go for my first pack. I've got, a, I've got a walkout. Uh, see, look. Oh, look, my Mora. He's 50k as well. Yes, <laughs> Lucas. <laughs> oh my God, Lucas and Cruz. Look, that, that's mad. I've made about 70 to 80 thousand coins off that pack. This method's so good. Look, oh, I. You re I do advise you to do this so bad. It's really good. Like, look at that, my first pack. I'm actually buzzing with that. Let's go. We've got, obviously, I can keep all of these as well for the other SPCs to complete. So this is only just one of the packs. Like, I can do like, another, 50, another 50k pack, two more 55s, like 45s and 35s. This method's so good. Next, I actually did complete the Elite 8 due to the fact you only need one league, so I did pack a few of the Bundesliga players ready with loyalty on them as well. So that does save me some chemistry. Also, the Bundesliga is a very cheap league to build teams around. So is the Serie A as well. So yeah, it, well, it kind of depends what live SBCs are about at the time, but I do find them two leagues the cheapest. That SBC was roughly around 8k from scratch, I think, and you're getting 45k pack value in return. So again, it's another SBC, which is definitely worth it. We didn't actually pack a board in this pack, we got Lucas Vasquez. However, the players you get in the pack, you can actually store in the club for the SBCs to save, you know, thousands of coins on. So you want to keep anyone from a major league, especially if they've got the same nation as the same league. For example, uh, Moya, he had, he was Spanish, he was from the uh, La Liga. The final four is actually an SBC which you can complete, probably like when you're building up the club, collecting all your bronze, silvers and golds, due to the fact it's so low rating, you do get an Electron Players pack as well, so you have a very slim chance of packing something like more than 5,000 coins, however, I really do recommend doing the final four first, I know I recommended a lot of stuff, however, the final four is a good starter SBC to kickstart if, you, like, if you're struggling with coins, if you've only got like 5k on your main account, you can actually do the final four first. Also, I do think some like second league divisions are selling as well, obviously because that new SBC came out, which I do not recommend to do. It's overpriced, but some of the silvers from like the second La Liga division are like a mad price. So just jump, just double check like all the all the, like the B Tech leagues or the major leagues. As a result of completing a group of SBCs, obviously you do get the big final pack at the end of completing all them little groups. The gold players pack, fuck knows where that went. Edit on the tablet is so. F pissing me off anyway I, I didn't get anyone because i would have remembered not to lose that file of the video anyway in this pack it wasn't an inform based on the flare it's, the flares are very weird gold crispy color anyway <laughs> moving on from the uh, animation details we should do pack an inform which is worth 10,000 coins which obviously gets your money back from the majority of the SBC you spent. If, also, if they're little ones, just 10,000 coins makes up like two of the SBCs, so you've got your money back on them, guaranteed. Plus all the other players which could be selling due to like live SBCs or you know weird little market crashes every now and then. I can't stress to you enough as well how many position changes do you sell. You see, as you see that CDM to CM is around 2,000 coins. I think the wing back ones due to the national pride, they're mad as well. They've gone up to like a K each. This SBC was actually the reason why I chose Brazil as my starting pack. 
due to the fact you need at least one player with loyalty, you actually do pack like three or four Brazilian players. Also, when you open your nation packs beforehand, keep like, so say I know that Colombia is quite a popular option for the first 11, Argentina is, uh, I know Portugal is as well also. So store any players from any of the nations, put them in, and then you only have to buy like five or six players. Overall on the SPC, I did spend around six to 7,000 coins. Because obviously I was allowed to, I had to buy 80 rate players like, um, like Rafina. I had to buy usable players like Neres, the position changes, etc. But in the pack we do pack an 83 board, which again is like two to three k. So and then obviously the quick sale and all the sales of the fitnesses of the all the consumables, all the other players. Again, you're just making more and more profit. Next up, I did the whole nine yards, and also I used French, so I. I actually did store like so many French people from the nations and also from I, I actually used a Lamar due to the fact there was even that all by like valuable and he was like 4,000 coins and Lamar was around and he got Ray in so I thought I may as well use him he had loyalty as well to be fair from scratch I think this SPC is a little bit more it's like 12 to 13 K so also again you get a 35 K pack in pack value I guess so once again you guarantee profit also this method, like, it's very addictive in the fact that packs are addicting and that's why people spend FIFA points, however, you could just do this and spend your time instead. <laughs> FIFA points version 2. Anyway, in the pack, it's a pretty dead pack to be fair. Also, I use Spanish for the uh, upcoming SBC as well, so that will save a few loyalty ratings. Cam to CM was quite a lot as well. So as you can see here, I actually do, for the 7 league boots, I do use Spanish. Again, there's such a big variety of players from Spain dotted around the world, so it's very easy to complete. I think a Prime Electrum Players Pack, I think its value is like around 20k. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I had a look on Footwiz like the other night and I knew one of them was worth 30k. I'm not too sure which one. However, I did get an England board. I did hope for like a Rashford or something due to the fact he was... He was like 60, 70k at the time. I think he still is actually. But Jordan Mickford, I think when the Walker SBC came out, I did sell him. So he was like 5 to 6k. So once again, I'm making my money. Moving on to the final SBC of leagues, give me five. This SBC is actually very easy. There's no tutorial whatsoever needed to complete this. You need about three or four goals. You probably have them left over from all your all player packs from the start. Also, I was going to move on to the fact if there's like a really good live SBC app. I think at the time I was recording this video, there was yeah, marquee moment where you get the two red gold player pack, and it's tradable as well. I actually went ahead and completed this because you need about two silvers, two rares. I can see there as the requirements. So, so again, you're guaranteed money off that. You could even dot around on like 20 different accounts and complete this SBC. The same does go also for marquee matchups. It, again, that SBC can sometimes be very like controversial in the fact you're lucky if you make your money, but some weeks it's actually really banging. You get like rare electrums, you get mega packs. So yeah, I would recommend keeping an eye on the live SBCs. A little update on the profit I've made. I think so far I've made about 40k uh, whilst having the 55k pack spare as well. I didn't really expect to make much money off this two red gold player pack, and again, I wasn't bothered because I bought like one player for it, so all I had to do was make 400 coins back from it, and I was guaranteed like 1,200 from discard. However, we did actually get a board marked Bartra, he was a few thousand coins, so again, more profit getting raked in. I'm moving on to the final pack of this delete, and you will see why I'm calling it a delete in a minute. However, we do get a Brazil left mid, which is guaranteed good because you because you could even get a Flip Anderson or uh, Costa, as, I, as as you see there. Uh, he's, yeah, he was around 20k. So again, more profit, boys. Like this profit isn't coming from just nowhere. It's it's coming from these packs, which are just really addictive to complete and open. As you do see here, I'm listing a player on my main account. I use Harry Maguire because he has a fat price range. It was actually um. Yeah, 85,000 coins, as you can see there. So, yeah, I listed them up. Obviously, didn't list them up fully 85, but, like, uh, I put the exact price, and I moved the start price from the buy now price with a big difference. As I was saying earlier on in the video, players at this stage of the game, their price ranges are mad. Like, any new promos, screen cards are coming up very soon, so their price ranges will be, like, 
800 quid like on the first night so you know you need to get on that shit just if you really want to risk it transfer you could probably transfer quite a lot i like again i don't recommend this and do it at your own risk but I, like it's very good if you get away with like 500k in one night like so when big promos come out you can use mad players for price ranges and get away with it the coins have been fully transferred to my account at this stage i have 5k left over if you're wondering in a minute uh, yeah, as you see there, right there, 5k to 1k, I actually did transfer like 5k of it, obviously tax as well, I transferred that to a random account, just for if I ever need it for like a little SBC, you know, I think some people do delete it with like 10k on there, I just think it's a waste of coins really, but then you actually do delete the club, so all the club's data has been, just been you know, deleted, yeah, you can't catch on to any coin transfer and hopefully, I don't, I think that does work, I don't think anyone's ever really been caught if you delete the club after. And then obviously once you delete the club, you can actually go back into that club. You've got five deletes and you can also email EA to get more deletes. You can get, I think you can get a few more deletes. I've had a few mates who have done that. Personally, I haven't gone that far into like coin transfer and I've kind of stopped when I've got the insane team. So yeah, you can email them and get more deletes. So it, it works out all nice. If you do want to go ahead and risk coin transferring, you know, it's fully up to you. I'm not telling you you must, you know, it, it's at your risk. Also, I could put money on it. EA aren't going to see this video. So, like, you know, if they ban me, rip. <laughs> if they actually, if this video actually gets a few hundred views, then I'll be happy. But if EA watch it, I'm pretty much fucked because they can just get my gamer tag and ban me. Anyway, boys, I do appreciate if you've got this far into the video, leave a comment and also leave a comment on what types of videos I could do. I appreciate if you actually left a like on the video as well. Coming tomorrow, I do have my gold free foot champion rewards as well, as well as my rival rewards where I'm getting 50k packs, so watch that. All the love is appreciated if you decide to leave it on the video, and until tomorrow, the big day Thursday, I'll see you in a bit.